this pathway roughly falls in the center point. I can draw that little, like, it's not a horizon line per se, but I'm using it like one. It's the top of my pathway, okay? When I'm using a resource, what I'll do is I'll line up my subject, my resource, when I'm doing the drawing part of it, and again, the drawing, don't stress, it's not a, a perfect, beautiful drawing, but I'll line it up parallel. I'll use my brush, or you can get these little wooden dowels at any hardware store or Fred Meyer, and I'll line it up. I'm gonna use my brush, though. I'm gonna line it up with the angle of the pots, and then move, I've gotta be, like, I've gotta just move my whole body like this to get the angle right, and then decide how far up about a quarter of the way up, ish. So I know my line is gonna be something like that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. So I just kind of do it that way, where I'm, I'm just measuring relative angles trying to figure out where they stop and stop, start and stop, I should say. So I kind of figured it was a little bit under halfway up, okay? And then I know that my statue is gonna be in the middle-ish. Now, here's how I can draw a line, but I tend to do this. I tend to put my pinky or something at the edge of the canvas, and then I just let my arm come down. As long as I move my whole arm, notice how my elbow and my wrist are not moving. It's just my shoulder. Look at your subject matter for twice as long as you're spending here. Because if you're just doing this and you just keep going along and you're never looking at this or really observing it, you know, you're gonna go, you could go off astray pretty quickly. So really think critically. Okay, so now I've got this kind of basic outline of where everything's gonna go. I'm gonna use a little less water so the color's a little darker so this doesn't appear as dark. And in fact, I can even lift it a little bit. So I know that's where the fountain is gonna go. And then I look at my fountain and I say, okay, how tall is the whole thing all together? Do, do, do. How tall is that body, that dude, next to everything else? It's about, it's in thirds. So let's say I want the top of the, the fountain to be here. Okay, I've got to split this into thirds, roughly-ish. And then I can go back and forth and adjust as necessary. So roughly thirds. His body's gonna be that big. The other bodies are gonna fit in here. And then there's gonna be the big fountain right here. Let's see, I'm gonna start. I'm squinting my eyes when I look at my resource because instantly it helps kill some of the detail. How wide? Well, it's gonna go a little wider than that line there. So I, I do something like this. And you know, I like to measure and keep things as consistent as possible. And then I also like to just chill out a little bit and not worry about it being perfect because it's a painting. So that's gonna be my fountain-ish. All my little dudes, I'm just gonna imagine that there's some shapes here. They're gonna kinda come out and then come in a little bit somewhere in here. All right. That's a draw. That's my drawing. It's not that I can't draw. That's not. That's irrelevant. Irrelevant. Irreverent too. But it's just about creating the shapes and knowing that I'm going to refine it later. Same with this little figure. See how little that space is. Remember, I've got to fit six things in here. So I could actually, let's see. I could do it into thirds, and then cut those thirds in half. That's a big difference between, you know, if I just went and started this whole thing with this guy, I would almost always make this guy way too big because my instinct is always gonna be to, to put in all the details. So, all right, now with that said, I'm just gonna do the little line. Do, there's where his butt's gonna go. There's his foot. His arm's gonna come out here somehow, stops around where his butt is. There's another thigh that kind of comes in and ends there. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do on the fountain. Now I can start to think of where everything else is. Okay, so those little potted plants. I'm not gonna do a ton of details on those because I actually want the focal point to be this fountain. Even though I'm not gonna put a ton of detail into it, I want that focal point to be the fountain. So I just kinda wanna get, get the idea. I might choose to 
maybe even leave out this little pot in the middle or or put it in I don't know but I can decide that later so for now I'll just throw it in it's kind of the same width as the base of the fountain which bugs me so I might put it off center just to be wacky everything is so centered sometimes it's nice to throw something off a little bit create a little tension you might want it in the center and just say tough it's going to the side and then just a little stem of a branch trunk thingy and then somehow in here that might I may even just fill it in so I can actually see it that would be my little bush I'm gonna get an idea where all these other bushes are and just give the hint of some of these pots looking at where the bottom line you know I'm not gonna put a ton of I can spend more time later if I really want to I just want to get the idea of the pots now the big the, the farther that they get towards you the bigger the pots are gonna be the pots in the back gets much smaller and then the trees so then I just kind of would get an idea of where I want my trees to go now it might bug you that some of these trees are touching our little dude there but here's the great thing about those trees touching him they yeah they give us a great contrast so having the trees touch that guy is a good thing because then he really pops out and in fact you know looking at it I might even do this I might reverse it I might say listen the highlights are on the right half of his body obviously the Sun is over here somewhere if I have a tree instead touch the right half of his body then he's really gonna stand out because I'll have this highlight next to a dark dark so I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put this big tree over here touching him the tree is here now and I'll give it a little bit of space over here and then have a smaller tree there so I'll have a little space where the dark of shadow of his shadowed body touches the lightness of the sky does that make sense to you guys I'm talking about contrast for thinking about ahead about the painting and then you know just this idea of trees somehow in here without any real tons of detail just the idea of trees I might not even do all the detail of anything else just to get an idea that is what my drawing would look like it looks kind of messy that's what it should be like sometimes right you can have a perfect beautiful drawing but what I do want you guys to do is, is spend a little time on this I mean I'm doing this quickly just to kind of demonstrate to you how to put a drawing together for a painting spend the time thinking about the angles how big are the objects you know if you if you guys have more time than I have because I'm demoing go in there and look at okay where's the pot how close are these pots together and actually you know take some time on developing the pots it doesn't have to be as abbreviated as what I'm doing you could also decide to put in the shadow where's that shadow fall it's gonna fall in here somewhere so take your time in making sure that you get those relative sizes right it can be this rough 